Oh, hi there. My name's Greg, and I'm on my way across the lake to see another episode of Show Us Your Cat. Want to come along? You know, I think you could do a strong introduction for Show Us Your Cat. Yeah, I think I could. <laughs> Yes, hello, that's right, it's Joe here for Joyrider TV, back with another episode of Show Us Your Cat. Firstly, thank you very much indeed to Greg for that very strong intro. Like Greg said, if you would like to send in your own strong introduction for Show Us Your Cat, then I think you know what you need to do. So what's been going on? There's been a lot going on, but firstly, do you remember Mike and Benno? You probably remember those guys for putting their Hurricane 5.9 in the bushes when there was a thunderstorm. Oh yes. Well, it just happens those guys were here with us last week and here is some interstellar footage of Mike out with me on a Hobie 16 sailing very fast. So Show Us Your Cat is of course where we're going to be taking a look at your boats around the world and where it is that you sail them. We're starting off this week by taking a look at what we're calling New Gear of the Week. And this week with New Gear of the Week we've got Scott sailing at Coltus Lake, Oregon, dropping it in the slot. He has really treated his 16 to some nice gear. So firstly and most prominently, you'll see this absolutely stunning set of new sails on there, which have been made custom by Whirlwind Sails in California, USA. Very nice looking sails. And then if you're gonna put a new engine on your vehicle, you're gonna to need to increase your steering capacity. And Scott has done this with an absolutely fabulous set of EPO3 rudder blades. Oh yes, there had been some talk that any EPOs purchased in the USA, you actually had to drill yourself. But fortunately, when Scott's blades arrived, they arrived pre-drilled, so he just put them on, and he's already out there giving it the big beans and getting a very, respectable single-handed speed on the speed stick. He's also made this very innovative solo mast raising appendage on his trailer. So if you're looking for inspiration, maybe this could help. So if you would like to be featured in Show Us Your Cat, of course you can. All the information that you need is just in the video description below, and then you could be in the next episode of Show Us Your Cat on Joyrider TV. Okay, so we're keeping it in the USA, and we're going to the Texas City Dyke, just south of Houston, where we have Greg and Laura, who have got this Hobie 20 Miracle from the year 2000. They bought the boat in August last year, and typically, uh, Greg goes sailing with Laura, and if it's not too much wind, their dog Buddy accompanies them as well. When people ask how long they've been sailing, they say they're pretty new to sailing. And then when they bought the boat, they look funny and say, really, you're starting from scratch on a Hobie 20? That is a lot of boat. Greg says, that is absolutely true. It has been an absolute blast, but they are getting the hang of it quite nicely, as you can see. They've had a few things happen. The port shroud snapped 10 minutes into their first sail. So the mast came down. Following that, they decided it was time to completely replace all of the rigging to make sure that didn't happen again. They opted for Dyneema rigging. So all the shrouds, trapeze lines, and forestay are now Dyneema. A roll of furl has been fitted for the jib. 
they've got a new trampoline on there and they've put some padding on the hulls to help with the grip. They've done their first regatta now and they're looking forward to two more which are coming up in the near future. As you can see here, to install his GoPro, he's recently installed a mast cam by using a chain plate at the top of the mast. This makes for some absolutely great footage. Now here's some video of Greg and Laura setting their personal best speed back in May this year, where they reached 18.1 knots. What a rush, says Greg, hold on tight. Now I would say if you wanna notch that up a little bit higher, you could try the following things. Try lifting the dagger board so there's about a foot above the deck. Then let the jib and the main travelers out, maybe even just halfway from where they are to the outer limit. That way you'll be able to sail with much tighter sails, which will give you more control and less drag. And then the final thing that could really help your speed is if Laura was to move further back on the trapeze, that way you could push the boat harder without the risk of sticking the nose in. So thanks very much to Greg and Laura for sending in those great pictures and video. Hope you have some more great sailing this summer and we wish you luck in any future competitions. Next, are you looking for a new port hull for your Hobie 16 and you happen to be in Northern Europe? If you are, then look no further, because Anders, who's in Sweden, is selling a very good condition porthole for a Hobie 16 for just 800 euros. There you go. Uh, if you're interested, put it in the comments and I'll put you guys in touch. Anders has also made an innovative solution for storing his capsize writing bag. These really do make a big difference when either you're out and the wind is too light to bring the boat upright or you're out solo and you can't bring the boat upright. But where do you put it? Well, storing it in this bottle bag really does look like a great solution. Thanks for that, Anders. Next, we're heading Dubai in the United Arab Emirates, where we have Bruce, who's originally from South Africa, but now living in Dubai. And he's racing on a 2010 NACRA F18 Infusion Mark I with a Mark II rig. The NACRA Infusion is a very good choice of F18. If you're just getting into F18 sailing, the Infusions were very successful on the race course. So since he's had the Infusion there in Dubai, Bruce says I've been placing second a lot and came second in the Dubai Offshore Sailing Club Commodore's Cup and then first in the Airbus Regatta. As well as racking up some good results, Bruce has been training and trying to bring more cats to the fleet there. Currently, the fleet is quite small, but powerful, consisting of F-16, F-18, they've got a 49er, and a Mark II foiling moth there. Bruce has also been instructing and racing on a 2016 37 foot keel boat named Matrix and he's also successfully competing with that boat as well. I'd say it's all about the matching gear. Great job there. Thanks very much Bruce. Wish you success in getting more people over to the Dubai Offshore Sailing Club. If anybody is in the area and wants to get involved again put it in the comments and I'll put you guys in touch. Next, we've got 13 feet of fury with Alan, who sails on Lake Huron in Tobermory, Ontario, Canada, who changed last year from a Hobie 16 to a Hobie Wave because he's getting a bit older and he just wanted something more manageable, a bit easier to handle on the land as well as on the water. And this wave came up for sale, seemed like a very good idea. And I think by watching the videos, it certainly looks like a whole lot of fun. The boat is called Unwavering, usually sailing with his daughter Naomi, but on these videos, he's with a family friend on their first time out. This really does look like some very fun sailing. Hope you have some more fun sailing there on your wave. Thanks for that, Alan. Okay, so a new feature this week coming from 
wild wind sailing holidays. We've got out here Paul. And this is show us your pitch pole scar. Whoa. Ouch. Good work. Okay, next. Have you seen the great sailing movie Sharing the Wind? If you haven't, you need to see that movie because next we're heading to where that was filmed. Yes, we're going to Honolulu, Hawaii, USA, where we have Dan and Buddy who have got this fantastic looking Hobie 20 miracle. Dan and Buddy are both commercial multi-hull sailing charter captains and they keep their Hobies in Kanohi Bay which is one of the only fully protected bays in the entire Hawaiian archipelago where it's flat and windy as hell almost every day. They go out about twice a week, every week of the year, taking her outside the bay and surfing the massive waves. But because the Miracle is such a beast, they're only comfortable doing that if the wind is less than about 15 knots. Very wise at the moment, rather than risking some sort of breakage on this absolute beauty. So although Dan and Buddy share the boat, it is pretty rare that they actually sail together because so many people want to go sailing with them. But Dan also owns a Hobie Getaway and Buddy also has a Hobie 18. So there's another an issue with too many owners or not enough boats. They love taking other people out to share the thrill of powerful catamaran sailing. They bought the boat in January yeah. this year for just $4,000. The hulls were in yeah. great shape, but just to be safe, they replaced all new rigging, trapeze systems, lines, trampoline lacing, bungees, jib car track tensioners, rail grip tape, and re-glassed the dagger boards. The boat came with full carbon battens in the Mylar race sail, came with carbon EPO rudders. She's a 2006, which is actually the final year that the Miracles were produced. So this is possibly one of the newest Miracles you're ever likely to see. What the guys like to do most is just blast around the bay in average Hawaiian wind conditions of 15 to 25 knots. They've both been sailing small fast boats for over 10 years but the 20 is an entirely new genre of joyride. They love the look on people's faces when they're double trapezed, heeled over, and then flatten off and boost off at 20 knots of boat speed. After the refit and six month shakedown in the bay, they decided to sail her a quarter of the way around Oahu from Kaneohe to Honolulu making one lunch stop at this offshore island of Mokunui. And as you can see in the video, there were big winds and four to six foot seas for most of that five hour trip. Now that looks pretty epic. It really does show what a beautiful place is this is to sail. They race twice a month and they're currently organizing all the small craft sailors on Oahu for a 50 mile inter-island sail from Oahu to Molokai. This great looking 20 certainly attracts a lot of attention and rightly so. So thanks very much to Dan and Buddy for sending in those pictures and video of this absolute smoking 20 miracle Thank you very much for taking us to Hawaii there. We look forward to our next visit. So thanks to everybody for sending in their pictures and video for Show Us Your Cat. Again, if you would like to get involved and show us your cat, then we would love to see it. All the information is in the video description below.
Otherwise, thank you very much and I'll see you soon with some more on Joyrider TV.